Listen, I've been out on a few bike rides of my own and I'm usually all right. You, sh you show up. Well, here we are, we've just uh, left Penrith where we've had our breakfast. We were looking for roosters, barbecue and grill, because they do like the, the, the biggest breakfast in the country, the biggest breakfast I've ever seen. It's even bigger than the one at uh, the truck stop at the church. Absolutely bloody massive it was. But they're closed. Looks like they've been closed for some time. We were about to leave, Paul said, look over there, there's a cafe, there's a cafe right across the top, so we went over. It turned out to be one of those farm style shops, and you couldn't go straight up to the cafe, you had to go through a door and go through the farm shop, where I guess that they were hoping that you'd buy stuff on your way through. We kind of didn't, we went up the stairs, um, into the cafe, breakfast, £18. To be fair, it wasn't a bad breakfast, it tasted really great, it was really good produce is probably the best way to describe it. And you did get a giant mug, of, not a mug, a, a giant pot of tea, out of which I think I got three cups of tea. Um, that was a fairly steep price for a breakfast, to be fair. The reason we stopped off there, today we're, we're heading up to Alston, we're going up over the Heartside Pass, but it has been bloody cold getting up that motorway. Doesn't matter what you say, spring might be coming, but today it doesn't feel as though spring has come at all. And so we pulled in, get a little bit warm, and have something to eat. Um, it's, it's chilly now, it's actually fairly nippy as it happens. I love this half side pass and I love these twisties where you can just flick the bike from one direction to the other. I'm not a road racer so I'm not going to be getting over to 50 degrees or anything like that. I'm not going to be getting my knee down but I do just like the way it feels. Basically what we're doing is we're going to be heading up the half side pass which is coming up shortly. Over the top, down the other side to Alston, and then we're going to head up to the Nook Cafe. It's about two miles north of, of Alston, and get ourselves a bad one breakfast. I, I think I can manage a second one. When I get home today, I'll have done somewhere between 250 and 300 miles, which is pretty much a standard day's riding. So once I've done this, as long as I'm not in any pain or anything like that when I get home, then as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty much back to normal in terms of um, maximum or reasonable mileage per day sort of thing. But I haven't done it for multiple days in a row. I've only done it for one day. And to be fair, I've done it the dirty way, shall we say, which is straight up the motorway from Charnock Richard up to Penrith. And then we're heading off, I say, for A Roads now, all the way up to, to Alston. But we're getting back on the motorway at T Bay, at which point I'll, I'll, I'll ride all the way home. So probably out of the say 250 to 300 miles you're looking at 80 of it is on a roads the rest of it is on motorway i'd say it defeats the object apart from one thing i've done the miles and that's all i'm really interested in today
in a couple of weeks time we'll be going to Tuxford and on that particular weekend I'll be out riding four days in a row first one will be 100 miles to get there the second one was I believe is about 170 to 175 miles the next day is 140 miles and then on the last day it's 100 miles to get home so that'll be interesting because it means I can prove to myself that I can ride multiple days and I do have to get up to doing something like 250 to 300 miles every day if I'm going to be on a tour in Europe that's what we usually set ourselves as an average for each day and the plans I've drawn up do sort of require 300 miles the first day, 300 miles the second day, 300 miles the third day so I do need to get myself up to that sort of a, a level Paul will be getting the two-person video out for this. He's, he's got his video and he's got mine, so he can do the um, two-way conversation part. And he'll do a different edit than this, to be fair, because I'm going to do pretty much the whole of the hard side pass in this video. Which means you'll probably see the two-way conversation as a New Year special, judging by his, his production rate at the moment. Just a bit confused for a minute there. Do you want to go over here by the tables? Yeah, there's no tent now, is there? There we go. It was a good ride, that Paul. <laughs> 